What's up guys? So it's been a while since I've seen you and quite a few things have changed since then. I've got a new job, got a new place and I got fat. So a few of you may have noticed in Tyson's video, thanks Carlos, thanks A3, that I've been uh, bulking recently. So I started trying to gain weight around mid-January and I've only just recently reached my goal of 82 kilograms. Uh, so in summary, it took me about four months to gain 10 kilograms, which is about 20 pounds, uh, with the most rapid weight gain occurring in the first one and a half months. Now throughout the whole weight gain period, I have been doing rings with low rep sets, and I've also been doing squats and deadlifts, as some of you may have seen on my Instagram account. I'm going to do a weigh-in right now, just so you have an idea of my weight. I'm slightly over 82 kilograms. So the plan from here is for me to shred off any excess fat and hopefully maintain the strength I have at this current weight. My metabolism is generally quite fast, so I don't think I'll have to focus too much on removing carbs from my diet. From here I'll be documenting my journey of shredding, or my shredding. I'm going to lose subscribers for that one. Obviously this is going to involve exercise with higher rep ranges in my sets of rings and weights. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll do more rings training with higher rep sets. I'll continue to do squats and deadlifts. I'll start including a bit more cardio in my workouts. I'll do some general weights training for other exercises as well. And I'll continue to set aside time out of my day to stretch as I have been doing because I think that's likely my greatest weakness at the moment. So as I mentioned previously, because I've been bulking, I've been keeping the rep range on my sets in rings quite low. I've also been doing the same program for about four months while I've been working on this weight gain. And it's been very interesting to notice that I haven't made as much progression as I used to. Uh, this could partly be because obviously I've gained a bit of weight and the exercises are harder. Uh, but I also think it really stresses the importance of varying up your program every now and then to keep your body guessing so your muscles don't become accustomed to the same exercises. So I'm sure you're all really interested to see how I cope on a rings workout at the weight I am now. Let's go have a go. Don't expect too much. I have always found Skin the Cats to be most challenging and extremely uncomfortable. A long term goal of mine is to develop extra shoulder flexibility for this exercise. As you can see, at the moment I really struggle with Skin the Cats and there's plenty of room for improvement. One arm chin ups have become a lot more challenging with the increased weight gain so I decided to revert back to an exercise that really helped me develop the strength for this. If you haven't tried Archer Chin Ups yet, I highly recommend them. For front levers, I started each set with a one-legged front lever negative, and then followed it with two front lever holds in the semi-tucked position. The weight increase has really made this one tougher as well. To make sure I didn't lose strength for muscle ups and also lose core strength in general, I threw this exercise into the workout. At 6 reps, this one probably has the most reps of all exercises in this workout. And the final exercise of this short program is the strenuous back lever. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Follow me on Instagram if you want to know what I'm up to before these YouTube videos are released. Let me know what kind of training you're interested in seeing. If not, I'll probably just post up videos from here and there on my training as I progress. There's the subscribe button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to ask me any questions you have. Don't be shy. I'll answer them all in my next video. I'll see you then.